What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple hidden features with my 2014 F-150 EcoBoost. Now, a lot of these things apply to the 5.0 as well, but I, this is just a couple things that I've noticed coming from a BMW guy. I'm a huge BMW guy, and this is my first pretty much nine BMW that I've owned in a long time, and I found out a couple new features about this thing that I absolutely love, and this is why I like this as a daily driver. So the first thing is how easy it is to diagnose these cars. If you go in and turn off the ignition, as you're holding down the OK button and turning on the ignition, you'll be prompted into a diagnostic mode. Look at that. Now all the gauges are like that. It is all being tested and this car pretty much does all the diagnosing itself. So there's a lot of cool little things on its own. So that is the gauge test. If I go ahead and click OK, if you have any pixels, any issues, you'll be able to see it in this process. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click OK. It'll take you to check all your bulbs to see if all those lights are working, so forth and so on. There's so many different things that you guys can check on this car without an actual code reader, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, that's something that nobody told me when I actually got this truck. So to exit this menu, all you gotta do is just hold down the OK button and it will exit that menu. Just like that. The next thing I love are these cup holders. I have a lot of drinks that just don't fit in this. Some of my coffee mugs, if you guys have a Gatorade, stuff like that, they just don't fit in these. And you don't have to get anything special. You literally just pull this out and it's a cup holder. It's a cup holder within a cup holder. I just think that's pretty awesome. You can just literally take out the rubber thing. You fit a bigger drink in there. Um, so yeah, I just think that's a little neat thing that's pretty cool. The next thing is actually back here. If you go ahead and remove this rubber piece and take out that bolt and that bolt, they are held down by seven millimeters. So just go ahead and remove both sides real quick. Then once you get the two screws out, you pretty much just push this thing back until it pops off the back here. Take this entire piece off. Some of you guys might have speakers, some of you guys might not. But uh, for those of you guys who don't have speakers, you actually have some USB ports down here. In my model, I do not, but that's something that I did find out that some models have. So, uh, so you can check in here, you have a couple more USBs. So if you don't actually have the sound system, you can actually set up like a navigation or something in here and you can pre-wire it right into there. So you don't have no extra wires, even like a radar detector, anything like that. They have USB ports and power grounds right back there. Some of you guys might have that though. So it's definitely worth mentioning. Another little cool feature is that these are automatic. It actually says on on the glass itself that they are power window. But what I didn't actually know is that they actually fold if you pull this back. We pull this button back, both sides actually fold in for some tight spots. So uh, that's just, I mean, I'm pretty sure that was somewhere in the manual, but not something that I honestly noticed myself. And if you go ahead and just click it back once again, it'll go ahead and unfold. So I think that's pretty cool. Some models have that, I think the XLTs do, so that's pretty cool. Now coming from a BMW, I did notice this. So I don't know if a lot of you guys know what this is, but this is basically a garage door opener. I have one right here. I am currently renting the house I'm currently in and I don't really want to program these to a house. I may not be staying there for long, but yeah. Basically, you have a garage door opener. You can program it to multiple garage doors. Literally your main house, your second house, and your, your summer house, whatever it is, or like a garage to your front gates or whatever that may be. You can actually program these to your garage door openers to where you don't actually need a standard garage door opener anymore, which I think is pretty cool. I thought only German cars had that, but when I saw this truck had it, I was like, this is definitely a truck I need to have. Now, excuse the mess back here, but something else I thought that was pretty awesome about this truck is the fact that not only do these seats fold up and you have a lot more space to put things in here but if you literally have grocery bags and you don't want them rolling around because you have so much space you literally have grocery bag slots right here i actually did not know that this truck had that thing i don't even know the trucks actually had this i knew my mom's old S uh, suv had this but i didn't know that also i put all my code reading stuff and everything over here there's a little compartment over here and underneath this compartment is actually your floor jack so if you guys didn't know you actually actually have a floor jack in here it's not underneath the car or next to the spare wheel it is actually over here and there's a little storage compartment right here. Now coming from BMW, something that I've always learned about keyed cars, you, you have to just hold it until the car actually cranks over. And if you don't hold it long enough, the car won't even crank. The cool thing about this F-150 and a lot of these F-150s, when you put the key in here and you just click it once, the car fully cranks over. You just have to activate the process and the car does the rest. That's something that I noticed with this truck that I love about it. Like when I had my older Corolla, I had to hold the key over and if you hold it for too long, it starts making some weird sounds in the engine bay where the starter is just doing something where it shouldn't. So I like that. I like the fact that you just put the key in there, you just twist it once, start up the car and you can take your hand right off of it. It's a quick and easy procedure and I love it. The next thing is, because I'm all about diagnosing cars, is actually working in your engine bay. Having a truck, it makes it really hard to get up all in there and get your dipstick. I can barely reach 
reach my dipstick and I'm about 6'2". So, something I did notice was actually this little stepping area right here. I thought this is me just being smart, but actually Ford designed it in a way that you could put your foot right in here. And obviously this is the frame, so it supports your entire body. And now you can get into here, check the oil, do whatever you wanna do in here, instead of actually having a ladder or stepping on your tire or anything like that. So uh, yeah, I find that to be really, really, really convenient. I thought that was me just being smart, but a lot of other people said that they've been doing the exact same technique. And this is what actually Ford does at their dealership. And the last one is the one with the key. So BMWs, you can never, ever, ever start the car from the key. And I didn't know that this truck can actually start the car from the key. Now, obviously a lot of people have this key. And if you see the times two, you guys probably figured it out, did some research and you figured that if you click it twice, it starts up the truck. But for me, I was like, what, what does this button do? It's not doing anything. I'm clicking it twice. It, apparently just to lock the truck, go ahead and click it twice and it starts up the truck. And you can do the exact same way. If you click it again, two more times, it turns off the trucks. So this, this is something I didn't really know for the longest time. And uh, I figured it out. Actually, my wife told me because she actually, her family owned an F-150 before. Now, these are just a couple features that I found on my F-150. If you guys find any other features on your F-150, let me know down below. I'm new to this world of Ford and I'm just absolutely loving this truck. But yeah, guys, if you found any of this stuff helpful, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys found any other hidden features yourself, make sure to let me know down below. Without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.